In this lesson, I'll show you how to create a glossy candy text effect. You'll also see how to make it flexible and editable to use for future projects by using the power of smart objects in Photoshop. Start by creating a new document. Use a standard 1920 by 1080 file, then click Create. First, create the background. I usually start with a solid color. It doesn't matter what color you choose because you will be adding a gradient on top. Double click on the layer and then choose Gradient Overlay. Pick the gradient you like. I'm going to choose a pink one and change its color from a dark pink to a light pink. Change the scale to around 65 to 70 percent, and you can always invert the gradient if you don't like it. Let's add some noise to the background, so on a new layer, press Shift and Backspace, or Option Delete, to bring the Fill dialog box up. Then choose 50 percent gray from the drop down menu. Change the blending mode to Soft Light. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and choose about 15 to 20 percent, then click OK. Also, go ahead and add a little bit of vignette by creating a Levels Adjustment layer. Push the Midtone slider to the right a little bit. Then, with a big soft brush, Mask the effect from the middle. Make sure to paint with low flow. Group all of these layers together and call it background. All right, now that the background is out of the way, Let's start creating the text effect. So choose the Type tool and type in something sweet. I'm going to go with Candy. You will find this font in the lecture's attachment. Hit Ctrl plus A to select everything and center the text with the horizontal and vertical align buttons at the top. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Before you start, you need to convert the text layer to a smart object by right clicking on the layer and selecting Convert to Smart Object. This is really important if you want to edit the text later on. Right click on the layer and choose a pattern overlay. Choose this striped candy pattern. This pattern will also be provided for you. Set it to around 90% scale or whatever looks best with the text and the font that you've chosen. Next, go to Bevel and Emboss. First, change the style to Outer Bevel. The technique Smooth, leave the depth to 100 and the direction up. Change the size to 20 and the softness to 1. After that, change the shading angle to 16 the altitude to 48, and uncheck global light. Select the gloss contour and change it to ring. Change the highlight mode to normal, the opacity to 100%, and the shadow mode to difference. In the shadow color, choose a mid-gray color. I set mine to 909090. Change the opacity to 39%. And then finally, add a contour layer style and change it to Cove Deep with a range of about 44%. This is how it looks so far. 
As you can see, the layer style that we have applied is giving it a glossy outer appearance. Now you need to duplicate the layer. Add an inner glow to the duplicated layer and change the blending mode to pen light the opacity to 29, change the color to black, the choke to 30%, and the size to 20 pixels. That's it for the inner glow. Go to Bevel and Emboss and change the style to Inner Bevel. The depth to 310, the size to 28, and soften it by 16 pixels. Change the angle to 180 degrees and the altitude to 26. Choose the default gloss contour and change the highlight mode to vivid light and the shadow mode to multiply. In the contour, choose cone And that's it for this layer style. This has given the text a rounded look with highlights around the edges. Group the two layers together by selecting them and hitting Ctrl plus G and call this layer Text Effect. One last thing to add is the candy stick and that's up to you if you want to add it or not. Go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle about this size. Add a gradient overlay and choose a black and white gradient. Then change the style to linear and change the black to a light gray. And that's it on how to make a nice glossy text effect just with layer styles. And the coolest thing about this effect is that you can double click on the smart object and it will open up the original text file. What you can do is change the text to whatever you want. For example, I'm going to add an ellipse right above the stick. Hide the text layer and then save the file and Photoshop will automatically update the rest of the file. Now you have a candy lollipop. You can use custom shapes, vector objects, or anything you like, and it will automatically update. All right, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.